Hi, I'm Bob with Wolf Ridge. Right now we are preparing this new Fuelwood Kindlet Pro to get shipped. This is going to go out via hot shot partial flatbed and I want to show you what it looks like when we ship one of these and what kind of assembly you can expect if you purchase one of these Kindlet machines from us. Now if you've seen one of these machines in person or in our other videos you know that it is quite a wide machine when it's fully assembled. So right now we've got it torn down about as far as we're going to go. Uh, we have the infeed, there's a gravity fed infeed that goes here and a drop leg. We have both of those removed and then over on the right side we have the outfeed tray which is also removed for shipping. But I want to walk around the machine and show you what you can expect when you get a machine like this shipped from us. So this machine is currently set up for 8 inch, 8 inch lengths. You can see we've got the belt in here and that fence. This customer also went for the 11 and half inch length option so he's getting an extra belt and then this fence gets removed and there are a couple extra of these fingers that get installed with that 11 inch kit. This is the tractor PTO powered model. So you can see we've got hydraulic oil cooler here that runs off a 12 volt. We've got three point connectors. And you, you don't need to use the three point connectors, but you can. And then for transport, we have the PTO gearbox and pump sitting up here on some foam so it won't scratch up the tank. And then we've got zip ties in strategic locations to hold all of the hosing in place. When this gets hooked up to the tractor, there is a safety chain that gets wrapped around. Uh, we've got that wrapped around up in here to keep that pump from moving during shipment. When you get your new machine, this would apply to the Kindlet 200 or the Kindlet Pro as PTO powered machines. Basically, all you're going to have to do is cut these zip ties loose from here. And this whole PTO gearbox pump assembly will click onto the PTO shaft of your tractor. And then we have a separate set of wires for 12 volt that will hook up as well. Now the Kindlet 200 just has alligator clamps on these. But with the Pro, you get a harness that you can put onto your tractor. So you could leave, you can mount this flange onto your tractor and you can keep this on your tractor all the time. And you can see here, these would be the ring terminals that go onto your battery directly. So when you're not using the machine, all you have to do is unplug it, put this towards the back of your tractor or somewhere in a convenient location. And I've recommended people to kind of drape the wire in a weird fashion when you're running your tractor because uh, drape it somewhere where you can see it, where it's by a throttle control or something like that. So you don't get on the tractor and try to drive away with the wiring still hooked up. You'll get on the tractor and notice there's a wire sitting on your throttle. You go, okay, I got to go unplug it. So when this machine arrives, it's going to be ready to go. Full of hydraulic oil already. You can see there's a sight glass here for level. And basically, put the chutes on, hook up your PTO electric, and you'll be splitting wood. When we ship a machine like this, we will have a pallet with the excess parts. Um, and we're going to get these things padded and, and wrapped up on this pallet. But before we did that, I wanted to show you guys what it looked like. So here is the outfeed chute. And this is actually two sections, but it's already bolted together here. So you don't have to mess with that. And then the bolts that attach the chute to the machine are actually on the machine right now. So you can see right here, here and here. And these four down here, these four holes do not get used with that standard chute. There are actually some uh, bolts that stick out here to kind of allow a gap. And what that gap does is make it so you can lift up on the end of the outfeed and then whatever dirt and debris and junk will fall out down there. So basically you need to install the two bolts there for the outfeed. And then here you can see that we've got the infeed chute. So that's going to go onto the other end of the machine again using two bolts. And this leg here goes into this position here. Now, when you go to put that leg in, you'll have to lift the machine up, set the leg in, and then slowly lower the machine back down. I mentioned this customer is getting the 11 and a half inch kit for this. Here you can see that consists of this belt and these extra fingers. On this side of the machine, there's actually no nuts. It's just the bolts. So they're tapped into the steel plate here. We loosen those up and we can put that infeed chute on just those two bolts drop that leg in and again you can see this axle up here will actually get um, removed so we can add the extra fingers into position. A couple weeks ago at the Paul Bunyan show we brought a Kindlet 200 PTO and a Kindlet Pro PTO just like this one. We sold both of those machines at the show and we took an order for this one right here. So this one was still in our stock here at the warehouse. Now we're getting ready to ship it out. One thing I didn't do in the last video was add the Kindlet Pro footage. So I'm going to add that into this video right now. All right, Eric is here to pick up his new Kindlet Pro. 
We've got this set up to eight inch lengths. You can see if we wanted to do longer lengths, uh, we'd have a different fence here and a different belt on it. But we've got some oak rounds cut to, cut to eight inches. Um, 10 inch diameter is the max. So we're gonna be like right at the max diameter going into this thing. And this is PTO powered. So it's running off of that tractor back there. Similar to the, the 200, we've got the gearbox just right on the back. And who's ready to fire it up? I think so, you're all, you press the button, man. Turn the e-stop off. All right, we're gonna start making firewood. So those rounds are gonna get fed in here. And each time that X blade advances, it advances the belt as well. So you can see what's coming out of this thing. Yesterday we were going back and forth, so we got some small kindling pieces in here. But let's look at what's coming out on the top here. What we just did today. So this is what we're making right now. Now these things you want to put in as straight and nice of rounds as you can to start with. Kind of that garbage in, garbage out thing still applies. But when you've got nice straight look straight rounds going in there, look at what you get for firewood. Let me see if I can grab some out of here. Look at that stuff. So this control down here, the bigger the number we do, the bigger the split size we will get. We'll basically change how far that belt advances each time. And it'll take some time before that's what is coming out of the end here. But I'm gonna pull some of this down and out. Probably. Yeah. All right, what do we got? Look at that stuff. Nice. We've only been running for a few minutes here and uh, our infeed chute is empty. We got a couple pieces that were cut just a little bit too long. So those are gonna go on to, uh, go on to one of our Wolf Ridge splitters over here. The response to these machines at the Paul Bunyan Show and in this market in general has been awesome. Right now we are sold out of all the Kindlet machines and we have more leaving the UK in December. So if you're interested in one of these machines, I recommend that you give us a call or send us an email. Let us know kind of what configuration and which machine you're looking for so we can get you on the list. We will be putting together a three phase electric version very soon. That is a Kindlet Pro also and that one is sold, but I will get some coverage of that thing before it leaves the factory here. And we will also be developing a gas engine option for the Kinlet 200 that you may have seen over at Back 40 Firewoods channel. If you would like more information on the Kinlet machines or any of the Wolf Ridge products, please check out our website, www.wolfridgemfg.com. There you can find all of our configurations, pricing, photos, videos, events, where our dealers are located and much more. You can also give us a call or send us an email. I'll make sure to leave those links in the description. As always, I wanna thank you all for the support. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on what's next at Wolf Ridge. Mm -hmm.